salutaris hostia, que celi pandis hostium, bella premun hostilia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You expired, Jesus, but a source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and He seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved. 
Red Sun, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy 
on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins. And those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, 
soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, see on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Litany to the Divine Mercy. Divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the Father. I trust in you. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God. I trust in you. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery. I trust in you. Divine mercy, 
fountain gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed Trinity. I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomed by any intellect, human or angelic. Divine mercy, from which wells forth all life and happiness. I trust in you. Divine mercy, better than the heavens. I trust in you. Divine mercy, source of miracles and wonders. I trust in you. Divine mercy, encompassing the whole universe. I trust in you. Divine mercy, descending to earth in the person of the incarnate Word. Divine mercy, which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of Jesus. I trust in you. Divine mercy, enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners. I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomed in the institution of the sacred host. I trust in you. Divine mercy, in the founding of the Holy Church. Divine mercy in the sacrament of holy baptism. I trust in you. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ. I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us through our whole life. I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing us especially at the hour of death. I trust in you. Divine mercy endowing us with immortal life. Divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life. I trust in you. Divine mercy shielding us from the fire of hell. I trust in you. Divine mercy in the conversion of hardened sinners. I trust in you. Divine mercy astonishment for angels incomprehensible to saints. Divine mercy and fathom in all the mysteries of God. I trust in you. Divine mercy lifting us out of every misery. I trust in you. Divine mercy source of our happiness and joy. I trust in you. Divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence. I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing all the works of his hands. I trust in you. Divine mercy, crown of all God's handiwork. I trust in you. Divine mercy, in which we are all immersed. I trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts. I trust in you. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear. I trust in you. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy of holy souls. I trust in you. Divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope. I trust in you. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. As we celebrate the feast of the divine mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we bring to his attention, into his heart, all mankind, especially all sinners, and we immerse them in the ocean of his mercy. We bring to him the souls of priests and religious, and we immerse them in his unfathomable mercy. We bring to him all devout and faithful souls and immerse them in the ocean of his mercy. We bring to him those who do not believe in God and those who do not yet know him. We bring to him the souls of those who have separated themselves from the Holy Church. 
We bring to him the meek and humble souls and the souls of little children, and we immerse them in his mercy. We bring to him the souls who especially venerate and glorify his mercy, and we immerse them in his mercy. We bring to him the souls who are detained in purgatory, and we immerse them in the abyss of his mercy. We bring to him the souls of those who have become lukewarm and immerse them in the abyss of his mercy. We also include in our prayers for our intention in honor of the divine mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, the end of the pandemic. We pray for those who are suffering and are afflicted with the coronavirus, for their healing and redemption. We pray for nurses, for doctors, healthcare practitioners, all those in the front lines of our present crises. We pray as well for priests and religious answering the call of the sick. And we pray for all of our particular intentions that we ask our Lord Jesus Christ in honor of his divine mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina Kowalska, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints of God, pray for us. And may the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. A prayer for divine mercy. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, Today, all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will, and all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy 
shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming, that day known to you alone, and we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness, for Jesus is our hope through his merciful heart as through an open gate we pass through to heaven. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum, venere mor cernui, et antiquum documentum, no voce dat ritui. Prestet fides supplementum, sensum de pectui. Genitori, genitoque, laos et jubilatio. Salus honor virtus coque, sit et benedictio. Procedenti abutroque, comparsit laudatio. Panem de cello prestitis Deis, Alleluia. Omni delectamentum in se habentem, Alleluia. Oremus. Deus qui nobis of sacramentum mirabili passionis tui memoriam reliquisti, tribueque sumu. Ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tui fructum in obis iugi ter sensiamus, qui vivis et renias in secula seculorum. Amen.
the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Amen. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Amen. O sacrament, most holy. Sacrament divine, O praise and O thanksgiving be every moment the.
know that my Redeemer lives, the one who calls me home. I long to see God face to face, to see with my own eyes. I know that my Redeemer lives, and I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, and I shall rise again. I shall one day see the goodness of the Lord when God will wipe away our tears and death will be no more. I know that my Redeemer lives and I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, and I shall rise again. The last day I shall rise again, shall be remade like God. My home shall be by God's own sight, the dying, rising Lord. I know that my Redeemer lives, and I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives. And I shall rise In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace 
to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the fate of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread in various houses and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love 
endures forever. Give, Give thanks to the Lord, Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love endures forever. Give, Give thanks to, to the Lord, Lord for he is good. good. His steadfast love endures forever. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. A birth into inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than that of gold, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
According to Saint John, glory to you, o It was evening on the day Jesus rose from the dead, the first day of the week. And the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced. When they saw the Lord, Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other things and signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through believing, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we have come to the feast day of divine mercy, always the second Sunday 
after Easter. This, of course, was instituted by Pope St. John Paul II. St. John Paul II and St. Faustina Kowalska has the title Apostles of Divine Mercy for because of them this devotion was given to us. Of course, we have to credit as well Blessed Michael Sopochko, who was the spiritual director of St. Faustina Kowalska, who wrote not only about the accounts that happened when the Lord Jesus was appearing, manifesting and revealing himself to St. Faustina. Brothers and sisters, Divine Mercy Sunday is definitely a time for us to reflect upon the great mercy of God. But our readings today calls our attention to the reality that we are people of memories. If I ask you about a particular memory in your life, I am sure every one of you will immediately say something that has given you delight, has given you joy, something truly memorable. In the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the disciples of our Lord devoted themselves to the teachings and in the breaking of the bread and prayers because they were reminded, their memory tells them that they need to celebrate what Jesus gave them. St. Peter, in his first letter, in today's second reading, was reminded by the great mercy of God that he wrote, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. He remembered how God is merciful and gracious to him and indeed to all the believers. To him, very at first, because he denied our Lord. Of course, we understand that Peter is writing after the resurrection of Jesus. And after a the appearance of our Lord to him, renewing the love that Jesus has for him, Peter believed that it is the mercy of Jesus, it is the mercy of God that is truly calling him to be the head of the church, to serve the church, and to give strength to the believers. Memories are so important, brothers and sisters in Christ. But we have to be careful, too, about memories. When we are not careful about our memories and we remember those hurtful things that people done to us, we can easily fall into bitterness and we can easily fall into unforgiveness. 
The gospel, brothers and sisters in Christ, tells us about the promptings of memories in the life of the disciples of Jesus. As the gospel tells us, Jesus appeared to them. I was reading the gospel passage, and the gospel passage says that they were locked in. I said, oh my goodness, what an appropriate gospel, because this is probably the first lockdown that was recorded in history or in sacred scriptures. They were locked in inside a room for fear Jesus appeared to them and said peace be with you Jesus appeared to them and Jesus did not remind them of their unfaithfulness. The first words of Jesus when he appeared to the fearful disciples is peace, peace be with you. These are the disciples of Jesus who deserted him. These are the apostles of Jesus who were not there at his trial who were not there when he was crucified. And yet in the first appearance of our Lord, after his suffering and death, he said, Peace be with you. As the Gospel tells us, Thomas was not with them. And when they informed Thomas, about the appearance of the risen Lord, Thomas said, unless I put my finger in the wound on his hands, put my hands on his side, unless I see, I will not believe. Why was Thomas doubtful? Thomas was doubtful because he knew what Jesus suffered. How Jesus suffered. He was informed how Jesus was scourged. He was informed how Jesus was crucified and left to die. He was informed how someone struck our Lord in his side with a lance. So his memory is serving him well. How could someone who suffered that way be truly risen from the dead? His memory, humanly speaking, is telling him it's quite impossible. And yet, again, when our Lord appeared to them, he said, Peace be with you. This time Thomas was with them. And Jesus invited Thomas to touch the wounds in his hands and in his side. The wounds, which is the stamp or the seal of God's great love for us. The wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ where his mercy flows to us. 
My Lord and my God, Thomas said. Brothers and sisters, Jesus, in appearing to the disciples, seems to have an amnesia, for he did not remind them of their failure, just gave them peace. Again, brothers and sisters in Christ, when we reflect on the mercy of our Lord, we need to be careful not to remind ourselves of the hurtful things that happened to us, that people gave us, but allow ourselves to be forgiving. For each and every one of us has been redeemed through the wounds of Jesus Christ, for mercy is flowing from the wounds of Jesus. Jesus appears to his disciples still bearing the wounds. The wounds of the past is integrated with his glorious body and his glorious life. These wounds need not be denied or forgotten. The wounds that we have, we cannot deny them. And yet, we need to be careful in dealing with them so that they may not be painful anymore. Whenever we fall into sin, brothers and sisters in Christ, somehow we're led to disorder, for sin is disorder. But when we're forgiven, Jesus is putting us in right order. Therefore, the mercy of Jesus puts order in our life. The mercy of our Lord puts order in our misery. The mercy of Jesus brings us grace, brings us life. And in the mercy of our Lord, one thing is truly expressed, that there is always a memory of someone who loves, even to the point of giving up his very self for our salvation. Therefore, brothers and sisters in Christ, as we continue our journey of faith, as we continue our reflection in our life of faith and indeed in the mercy and forgiveness of our Lord, let us allow ourselves to be true agents of His mercy. In the diary of St. Faustina Kowalska, our Lord Jesus Christ expressed that His mercy will transform the world. It is true, brothers and sisters, mercy, divine mercy will transform the world if we allow ourselves to be instruments of divine mercy and we become instruments of God's divine mercy if we receive the peace that Jesus gives us in his forgiveness. So as we receive God's forgiveness, let us impart and share his mercy and forgiveness to others. For indeed, brothers and sisters in Christ, 
The Lord's mercy endures forever. The Lord's mercy is everlasting. The Lord's mercy is an ocean wherein we can truly be immersed and washed of our sins. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose love and mercy endures forever, let us now offer all our prayers and petitions to God. For the Church, stronghold of trust in the everlasting mercy of God, that the gift of faith be generously shared with all who search for it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they be ever mindful of the sanctity of all life, resolve differences, strive for justice, and seek peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those seeking full communion with the church, that God strengthen them on their journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the risen Christ bring hope and strength to all of us especially the doctors, nurses, priests, those in the front lines, and all who are caring for the sick and isolated in this time of pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the youth of today hold on to their faith in God and feel the comfort and the strength from the guidance and grace he never ceases to give. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the wounded, the sorrowing, the hopeless, the hungry, the lonely, that they know God's mercy through the community's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us pray for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer for vocations and families. Heavenly Father, Lord of the harvest, 
we earnestly ask you to bless our diocese and our world with many priests and religious who will love you fervently and gladly and courageously spend their lives in service to your Son's Church under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Bless our families and our children and choose from our homes and our parishes those whom you desire for this holy work. You commanded your angels to guard us in all our ways. Deign to send Archangel Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Host, to defend our families and our church from Satan and all his powers of evil. We ask this through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, and in the name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Caritas Esfera Esfera Deus Tibies Deus Tibies The love of Christ joins us together Let us rejoice in him and in our love and care for all now love God in return who be carried us as fed as fed Deus Tibies, Deus Tibies. In true communion let us gather, may all divisions cease, and in their place be Christ the Lord. Our risen Prince of Peace. Ubi caritas, es vera, es vera. Deus tibies, Deus tibies. May we who gather at this table to share the bread of life, become a sacrament of love, your healing touch, O Christ. Who be carried us as fed Es vera, Deus tibies, Deus tibies. For those in need, make us your mercy. For those oppressed, your might. Make us your church, a holy sign of justice and new life. Ubi caritas es vera, es vera. Deus tibies, Deus tibies. May we one day behold your glory and see you face to face, rejoicing with the saints of God to sing eternal praise. Ubi 
caritas esfera, esfera Deus te vies Deus te vies Ubi caritas esfera, esfera Deus te vies Deus te vies Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth that renewed by the confession of your name and by baptism they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Gregory our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. 
in communion with those whose memory, celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and our Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei When we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O oh Lord, until you come again O oh Lord, until you come again O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, 
offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, dona nobis pacem. Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter. But only say the word and my soul shall be. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi. Custodia d'anima mea, amen, vita eterna. What? 
one call, one faith, one spirit, present in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, on behalf of those who have prepared themselves, themselves to the consecration to merciful love, I will now Recite your act of consecration. Merciful Father, relying on the prayers and example of Abraham and Mary, my father and mother in faith, and of St. Therese, my sister in the way of humble confidence, I, Sir Louis, choose this day with the help of your grace, to strive with all my heart to follow the little way. And so, I firmly intend to fight discouragement, do little things with great love, and be merciful to my neighbor in deed, word, and prayer. I aim to keep before my eyes my poverty, weakness, brokenness, and sin trusting that my littleness and contrite heart will attract your merciful love. I choose to remain always little, not relying on my own merits, but solely on yours, dear Lord, and those of the Blessed Mother. Finally, I believe, my God, 
that you can and will make me into a saint, even if I won't see it, even if I have to struggle all my life against vice and sin, even if I have to wait until the very end. This blind hope in your mercy, O Lord, is my only treasure. And now, to confirm my resolve and to console you for so much rejection of your mercy, I offer myself through the hands of Mary Immaculate as a victim of Holocaust to your merciful love, asking you to consume me incessantly, allowing the waves of infinite tenderness shut up within you to overflow into my soul, and that I may thus become a martyr of your love, O my God, and a gift of mercy to so many others. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, for those of you following us, in our live stream tomorrow starting tomorrow we are back to our normal normal schedule our regular schedule we have the rosary at 7 30 in the morning mass at eight o'clock in the morning and again just a reminder that every morning after the live stream mass the blessed sacrament will be available at the parking lot of the church in exposition for us to have a moment of prayer or visitation with our Lord until five in the afternoon. All of you are invited. Please follow the schedule in our website for some clarity regarding our services on live stream. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten, endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with, he, with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Regina Celi, Leitare, Alleluia. Qui anque meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, Sicudixit. Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord, Alleluia. Alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to His name. Spread the good news over all the earth. Jesus has died and has risen. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the Hallelujah, hallelujah, give praise to his name. 